Hey, Just Baron has a new video. Let me check this out. What is this? Oh my gosh. I cannot believe this thing has over 20,000 views. Yes, Edward Javier. He could add some extra LEDs. I find so. It looks kind of bland. And yep, one Philippe. He could just put out a timer, a countdown timer. I think that's a great idea to use a countdown timer. Who would even build this? Oh. I can make this way better. Three weeks later. Are you tired of your boring old soap dispenser? Is it difficult to use? Does this happen to you? Uh, or this? <laughs> Got it. Then it's time you get the new and improved Just a Soap Dispenser by Just Barron. This non-patented design makes washing your hands a breeze as it counts down to your cleaner hands. The experts recommend you wash your hands for at least 20 seconds. And the Just a Soap Dispenser is designed to make sure you do exactly that. It automatically dispenses just the right amount of soap and it comes with a massive 3-inch LCD display with an AI hand washing program so you always know when to stop. Did I mention it can also play music? Hit it! All of this can be yours for the low price of $19.99 plus shipping and handling. But wait, if you like and subscribe to the Just Bar on YouTube channel right now, you can get the analog and digital displays free. Yes, free. The analog display has a traditional modern look as the arm moves the count down the time. The digital display has large digits for your easy viewing. A $40 value, free. Just pay $40 in shipping and handling. Get yours today at justasoapdispenser.com or call 1-800-JUST-SOAP. That is justasoapdispenser.com or call 1-800-JUST-SOAP. Results may vary. Subscribe today to get yours. Do it. Do it now. What's up YouTube? So in this video, I like to make an upgraded version to my present Just a Soap Dispenser. As you can see, this project could do with a lot of improvements. And you guys left amazing comments and suggestions that I would like to incorporate in this version. So I just want to say thank you to all of those that subscribed commented and liked my last video on the Just a Soap Dispenser version 1. I would also like to say a special thank you to those of you um, on Instagram who are, have taken part in my many polls on my various projects. Um, if you haven't already, you can follow me on Instagram at Just Baron. I also have a Facebook page. So links to those um, platforms will be in the description below. That being said, um, let's get into this build. This is Just Baron, and on this channel we do just about anything you can do yourself. Starting off with the design, I wanted this version to have a minimal footprint. I would have the wash timer and sensor to the top and have the electronics to the back. So I'm using my usual super stock crayon box for the base. You can get these at Walmart for a dollar and they make great electronic project boxes. For the structure, I'm using some dip IC tubes and some old DVD and Xbox CD cases. Cause who uses DVDs anymore? Wood or anything else would have worked, I'm just trying to recycle and save the turtles and stuff. My soap dispenser is about 7 inches high and I added about a half inch to give me enough room for the ultrasonic sensor and dispensing mechanism. I cut the IC tubings in half to provide me with two 10 inch lengths for the back support. This gave me an extra 2.5 inches for the display at the top. I then used four half inch gypsum screws to secure the tube into the base. I originally planned to use pencils to add support for the top, but it became a tight fit with the dispenser. I measured the size of the base to cut a piece of the DVD case for the top deck. This deck had to have a sensor to detect your hand, so I made sure to extend it an extra inch out. I cut everything to size and I used hot glue to secure everything in place. I then removed the pencils. I added triangular supports to hold the top deck and after a few polls on Instagram with regards to design, I decided to change it. I pulled in the sides to make a more rounded, better looking top and used a thin piece of plastic to finish the look. I did this all by eye so I don't have any dimensions. I then made holes for the ultrasonic distance sensor and started working on the electronics. Now I had to decide how I wanted the timer to look. So I took to Instagram again to get some feedback. The LCD display won but let me know at the end of this video which display you rather. I sat down and decided to do some tests and write some code building on my code from the previous version of this project. You can check out that video to find out more about servos and ultrasound sensors. 
I decided to use an Arduino Nano as the brain of this project since it is small and it could fit easily on a breadboard. If you get any problems programming a Nano, you may have to change the processor to old bootloader. You can learn more about Arduino in my previous videos. After testing, I then designed a circuit diagram in Fritzen with every possible feature I could think of. I would be able to run the three displays, I added a buzzer for audio feedback, a voltage divider to check if the battery is low, a sex volt regulator to power the servos and a power switch. And for you Edward, lots of LEDs. I left a few extra control pins to add other elements in the future. I would really like to control the tap from this, but that's for another video. To get the display to work, you need to download Liquid Crystal underscore PCF8574 library by Matthias Hertel. This can be found in the Arduino Libraries Manager. For the digital 7 segment display, I built this from scratch and I used a Max 7219 LED display driver. You can also buy these online ready made. You need the LED control library by Eberhard to drive this display. This can also be found in the Arduino Libraries Manager. I will link the code and SIGA diagram in the description below. Once I finished all my testing, I moved over to my solder station to put everything on a solderable breadboard. These are really cool for making your projects permanent. I'm using female headers to jack in the nano and JSD connectors for the various other devices. I plan to use a 2S LiPo battery to power the dispenser, so I added a 3-pin GST connector for that also. So everything will be modular. I bridged the switch and did its full system test, and you can see I can run all the displays at the same time. Now it's time to finish the dispenser. Now I needed to find a way to secure the micro suvu to the side of the base. Using a Dremel, I filed down a side of the base to make a spot for the suvu, making sure that the arm of the suvu is in line with the center of the base. I then cut a piece of the harder Xbox CD plastic to clamp the suvu between two one inch screws which I secured with nuts to the base. Again, making sure I'm not restricting the movement of the arm or affecting the dispenser. Next was how to display the displays. I wanted these displays to be interchangeable so everyone could get a good idea of which one they liked best. So I figured out I can use a piece of plastic to make a groove to make a slide in and out system. I really outdid myself here. Once this was done, I cut about 5 pieces of these. These were about 4 inches by 2.5 inches giving me a lot of display real estate. I also cut a piece of plastic to cover the top of the ultrasound sensor. Now it's time for the paint job. For this version, I'm going with the silver spray paint. And I must say, I really liked how it came out. One thing I learned about spray paint is it really brings out all your flaws possible in anything you make. And as you can see, like, uh, the glue gun kind of shows up a lot after the spray paint. But, you know, whatever. And um, how this is going to work is this ultrasonic sensor is going to go on top so that's going to get covered up there and then these panels here are for the display and any other module and this is just going to slide in there yeah i'm going to slide in there and then you have your finished dispenser looking pretty pretty nice next i use some m3 nylon standoffs to secure the circuit board to the back of the dispenser i soldered ribbon wires to the ultrasound sensor these had to be long enough to reach a connector on the main circuit board. I then crimped a 4-pin female connector to the other end and using hot glue I stuck the top plate down covering the ultrasound sensor. I repeated the same method for the LCD display wires. I then drew center lines on the back of one of the sliding plates. I measured the LCD display screen and used a carving knife to cut a rectangle for the display. This was then secured with hot glue. For the 7 segment display, I did the same thing as the LCD except for this time I dropped it below the center line to add 3 LEDs above for soap wash and done. I marked the holes 2mm apart and used a hole punch. To give it a diffused flat look, I clamped a piece of smooth metal to the front face. From the back, I filled the gap with hot glue. 
While it was still hot, I pressed in an LED and waited for it to cool. I did this for all three LEDs. I then carefully removed the metal to expose a really gorgeous looking digital display. I soldered the cathodes of the LEDs together and made a connector for the main circuit board. The order didn't matter much as we can control each LED in code. For the analog display, I had to get out my high school geometry kit as I wanted it to look like a car speedometer. Using a piece of paper, I made a template since I did not want to draw on the plate just yet. I worked out the size and the points for the LEDs. I used a compass to mark a half circle with a radius of 3mm. I marked holes for the start and down LEDs and two other LEDs every 60 degrees. One will indicate when you can get soap again and the other for the halfway mark for the timer. These will use the same connectors as a 7 segment display. I made holes for the LEDs and servo arm and I used hot glue to secure standoffs for the servo. And used the same method as a 7 segment display for the LEDs. I made up a wire and connector and then used a fine sharpie for the artwork. I think this came out really great. The last thing to do was to finish up the dispensing mechanism. I cut a 6 inch long by half inch wide piece of plastic from the Xbox CD case. I used a hole punch to make the tie-in points. I centered the plastic on top of the dispenser and tied each end under tension to the suvu on the side with fishing line. I used my label maker to make labels on each display. I adjusted the sensing distance in code and the quick test showed it worked perfectly on the first try. First try. For the finishing touches, I secured a piece of plastic to the back with screws to hold a 2S 1000mAh battery. And I added a switch in the back also. To calculate how long this battery would last, I measured the idle current usage. This was about 36mA due to the two voltage regulators, the microcontroller and LEDs that are always on. This allows the device to last about 4 days if I take it off at night. Good thing I added that low voltage warning. Removing these LEDs reduces the power consumption to about 27 milliamps, which gives us a max 37 hours. I would need about a 5000 milliamp hour battery if I want this to last more than a week, 24 7 on a single charge with my existing design. I can also put the microcontroller to sleep and use more efficient voltage regulators or power it from a wall adapter. But I'll leave that for another video. To play music, I'm using the Arduino tone function and the buzzer to generate notes. Once you have the notes and timing, you can update the code in the array to play any song. So everyone, I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. And let me know in the comment section below which display you prefer. Um, the LCD, the digital or the analog displays. You can also leave any comments, suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And as always, just be yourself. Just do it yourself. That's all anybody could ask of you. And see you in the next video.